Hey everyone, Ronnie Rowe back with you again. Uh, it's been a while since we last um, got together, uh, but I told you it was going to be a while and I wasn't going to do any of the uh, videos until I really had something uh, to share with you and talk to you about. And today I do. Um, first of all, I'd like to I hope each and every one of you had a great holiday. I know I didn't do an end of the year um, wrap up of what I did in 23 or really didn't do one to tell you what I'm going to be doing in 24. Well, I sort of did. I, I, I sort of did. But anyway, uh, be that as it may, um, got a lot of things going on, had a great holiday. And guess what? Today's Valentine's Day. It is. Woohoo! Uh, wife and I went out to lunch today, had a great time at the Y this morning. Uh, flowers, candy, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it used to really intrigue. Oh, first of all, hit the subscribe button. Um, it used to always intrigue me when I was working and I was running some meetings at NASA and guys would sit there and say, hey, I don't know what to get the wife of Valentine's guy. You know, I'm pulling my hair. What do you get a wife of Valentine's Come on, guys. Valentine's Day. You can't figure out what to get your wife of Valentine's Day. Don't go to Bass Pro. They don't want anything from Bass Pro. Pretty much a jewelry shop or flower shop. You know, it's kind of easy to get something for Valentine's. Christmas, a little, me, a little harder. Birthdays, yeah, a little harder. But Valentine's Day is a no-brainer, guys. You, you, you can, you can go out there. I know you can think of something for Valentine's: flowers, candy, and jewelry. They always like that. So, anyway, uh, that's uh, my Valentine's thing for today. But anyway, today is Valentine's, and I hope each and every one of you. Have had a great Valentine's Day. What's going on in the Cross Ditch Ronnie Road? Before we do anything, I want to say I wish Jules all the best in luck. I know that she's got some uh, surgery coming up, and um, I wish her the very, very well on that. And our thoughts uh, go out with her and her husband and her whole family, and hope everything turns out well on that. So. I know you watch a lot of Jewels on her channel, Stitching with Jewels, and she does a fantastic job. And uh, talked to her last week. Got an opportunity to talk to Jewels. We sit down and Zoomed and got together and discussed a lot of things and what's going on. And so, so um, we didn't solve any world problems, but we had a good, good conversation. So always a pleasure to talk to Julie. Um, what's going on in my world? When we got together the last time, um, I think I showed you a video of a good friend of mine, Arlene. Arlene does a character called Medusa, and she does that for um, Bush Entertainments up in Williamsburg, Virginia. Does a fantastic job. They do all the makeup on her, and um, we got talking about it, looking at it, and I thought, you know, that that would probably be a pretty interesting project to do, to uh, do a cross-stitch design of Arlene in costume as Medusa. So um, I got talking to her about it and some of her inputs, my inputs, and drew some stuff up and looked at it and, and did some coloring. And anyway, that, and I told you it was going to be a, a long project. And uh, it has been, it been, it has been a quite a, quite a challenging project, not only from the stitching aspect of it, but, uh, also getting the sizes right, perspectives, and everything else that you needed to do uh, with this picture. And you will see this shortly. Um, and I told you I wasn't going to get together until I had something to show you. And I am going to show you Medusa. I have finished it. It's all framed, ready to go. And um, I finished that uh, last night. And so uh, anyway, I'm excited about that. So uh, new projects, um, I'm working on one right now. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, a bench. I'm doing a bench, a park bench, and um, I'll leave it at that, but it's got a different twist to it. it it's really going to be interesting. My, if you hear any squeaking in the background, it's my chair. I need a chair. My chair is squeaking. But um, anyway, that's going to be my next project, and that's going to be going on for some, some time right now. The other exciting news I have for you, there is a brand new cross-stitch shop needlework shop in colonial williamsburg and uh i'm excited about that because some years ago the only shop we had in our area 
had um, unfortunately closed down and it left us with no shops in my whole area. And now we have one in Colonial Williamsburg, which uh, I'm excited about. And they've got a beautiful shop. They had the grand opening and uh, it's called Liberty Hill Needlework. Liberty Hill. If you go online and take a look at that, they've got all kinds of pictures in there, the way they had the shop decorated and uh, done a very, very nice job with it. And uh, went up there and uh, took some designs up there, a lot of pictures. I got a whole wall up there, Ronnie Road, because of all my uh, Williamsburg designs I had done in the past. And so I was fortunate enough to uh, uh, get some real estate in the shop to uh, display models and uh, some of my patterns. But anyway, if you're in the Colonial Williamsburg area, be sure and go by. Uh, Liberty Hill Needleworks. It's a very, very nice shop, and I think you'll find everything you want in there. They are well, they are well stocked, uh, well knowledge, uh, very knowledgeable of everything in cross stitch. So, anyway, that's uh, that's something that uh, I think uh, you uh, would enjoy. Um, anyway, Medusa. I have finished Medusa's picture. I have. Uh, uh, have not put it out anywhere as of yet. I haven't even given it to Arlene. I'm going to give this picture to Arlene. I um, I can count on, I can probably count on two fingers, three fingers, uh, the times that I have done a picture um, that I have put out as a pattern, whether it be on my website, to shops, to SD, or wherever, where I have taken the original picture and gave that to an individual, and I am going to give this to Arlene. And this is a lot of work. I know she'll appreciate it. I, she, I love Arlene. We get along great, and so it, I enjoyed doing it. This has been a lot of fun for me. And so, without any ado, I want to show you the back, all framed. This is Medusa, Arlene. Again, I put the glass in it. I know what you're going to say. It got glare. I don't care. Anyway, that is what I come up with with Arlene and Medusa. And you will see a picture here shortly. I uh, hopefully if I can get it all together of Arlene, the way Arlene looks today. And uh, anyway, this is her dressed up. I think it's uh, turned out very, very well. I'll tilt it down a little bit so you can see it. Um, this is put a lot of stars around it and other things. And so this took this took some work. Uh, one thing I did do different, I built the frames. Uh, I even went and got these little uh, brass clips. You see these little brass things on the ends? That holds the frame and everything. I thought that looked kind of cool. Anyway, I thought so. But uh, anyway, all finished picture for Arlene. And that is my latest project. Um, what else is going on in my world? I know Jules mentioned some uh, new um, needlework shows is coming up in March. I know that uh, uh, Nashville is coming up the 1st of March. Uh, if anybody uh, uh, is around a shop and knows a shop owner, go on, tell them what you'd like to get from Nashville, and I'm sure they'll be happy to go out and uh, get, get what you request. Um, it, it, it's not open to the public. It's open to shops. A lot of shops go to it. And uh, I think a lot of shops take orders from individuals and then buy at the shop and come back. And so you can go on, you can go online, uh, Nashville Needlework Market, and find out who's going to be there, what designer's going to be there. And a lot of these designers have links to their websites, and you can go in there and look at their patterns and and decide what you'd like to know if you want to go that way. So um, as far as my uh, website. My SD site, I do have the flowers out, uh, Divine Bouquet, along with Orleans is out right now. And so I've taken those. They've all gone to Hoffman, the, the um, distributor, along with Witchell Imports, and they will be in Nashville, displayed at Nashville. Uh, other than that, I don't have a whole lot more going on. The weather's turning nice. It's time for me to get outside and plant some seeds. Time to do that. and. Um, I'm hoping to have a good garden this year. Um, staying relatively healthy. Uh, the winter hasn't been too bad where I am. We've had some cold stretches, but nothing unreasonable. So I uh, hope the summer's not going to be 
uh, overly warm, but it prob probably will be. Um, I'm sitting here right now trying to think of what else I need to talk to you about. Uh, not really anything. I'm going to come back to you. And uh, if I have anything else, and I'm sure I'm hoping to come get back with you before I finish this new bench that I'm doing. Uh, because I've just just started that really last week. And that's going to be be a two or three month project. I don't do anything small. Somebody asked me about doing small things. I'm just not not interested in it right now. So I'm not I'm not doing that. So but anyway, this this is going to be a project. The project's only going to have about six colors in it. And uh it's going to be on the same scale as uh Orleans was. And uh, that's what I've really enjoyed doing. But this one's gonna have a little bit more color. So uh, until then i like to thank each and every one of you for uh, sharing your time with me. And um, I appreciate it. And again, if you have anything that you're doing that um, I did get, I did get a lady uh, asked me from Mechanicsville, Virginia, got in touch with me the other day about several charts that she uh, needed and she couldn't find them anywhere. Um, but anyway, she'd done all of my Colonial Williamsburg, my original books. And it was nice enough to share with me a picture that she has them all displayed on the wall, really done, framed up nice and displayed. I thought that was very nice. I really appreciate, Carol, you sending that to me. Um, what else? If you got anything, make sure to uh, send it to me. Send it to Julie. She'll say something about it. And uh, other than that, the only other thing I have to tell you, like I tell you every time we do one of these little videos, is. Uh, Come back and see me soon. I'm going to try to get some of these videos. No promise on time-wise videos, but uh, I'll do the best I can. So, hey, I got a, guess what? I got a birthday coming up Sunday. It's coming Sunday. And, and uh, I'm I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but it's somewhere, it's somewhere, I'm going to be somewhere between 76 and 78. So, but anyway, Sunday's birthday. So I'm looking forward to that now. Barbara, wife and I, we're going out to have a nice dinner. So as we always do. And uh, anyway, looking forward to my birthday uh, between uh, 76 and 78. I'll let you figure that one out. Anyway, stay healthy. And one thing I want to leave you with, like I always tell you when you come to see me, be safe and come back soon. Bye-bye.